and you can do whatever you want to do with my videos. It doesn't bother me. Once again, I would like to thank you for your permission. Um, you made a couple of points regarding uh, the New World Translation that I would uh, like to address. Here we go. Put my Bible's name in your browser. Okay? The author of my Bible is Jehovah God Almighty. Do your research. This is what I mean when I say do research. They don't... I just I had to laugh. I mean, do, do you really believe that Jehovah just dropped it in these men's lap? The, the only inspired word of God? Really? <laughs> do you even know how old this translation is? Yeah, This translation has been around since the 50s. There's many translations that have been around longer. I think you're confusing translation for inspired because it's not the same. Yeah. We're talking about translation here. Continue. One man said that witnesses don't go by the original text, which is Greek. Let me ask you a question. Do you speak Greek? Can you understand Greek? She also mentioned somebody named Fred Franz wrote my Bible. You're wrong again, sir. No. I want to ask you that same question. Do you read or speak Greek? Do you read or speak Hebrew? Because if you don't, you need somebody to translate it for you. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about translation. We're not arguing whether or not the word is inspired of God or not. We're talking about translations. You seem fixated on the King James. The King James is just a translation. There are many translations, all the way from as close to word for word as they could possibly get, all the way down to paraphrased. Yeah. This is a translation. It's even in the title, New World Translation. So this is a translation. For your information, I'm the one that said that Fred Franz translated this and Johannes Grieber translated this. Because they did. Yeah. Take your own advice and research. I'm going to even help you out. I'm going to give you a link to the court documents where Fred Franz, then vice president, later became president of the Watchtower Society, testified under oath that he translated this. He also claimed to have two years of Greek. I've had two years of Spanish. I can't, I can't read a child's book in Spanish. Yet he, he had enough Greek to translate a whole Bible. He was self-taught in Hebrew. Is that enough to translate a Bible? But he's the one that translated the Bible. And also during that trial, when prompted, he couldn't read either Greek or Hebrew. But that's who translated your Bible. There were five men on that committee. He was the only one that claimed to read or, or speak Greek or Hebrew. The other four men didn't even claim it. They, they couldn't and they never claimed it. So these five men translated this for you. And when I was doing my research, and New World Translation kept being linked back to Johannes Grieber. So in my research... I went out and got a copy of the Grieber Bible and compared it to the New World Translation. They are so similar, it is sickening. So that is why I say Fred Franz and Johannes Grieber translated this Bible. Because it's almost like they copied the Grieber Bible with a few changes. But it is more similar to Grieber's Bible, which was written by spirits, than it is to any other translation out there. So yeah, I, Fred Franz and Johannes Grieber translated this, this particular Bible for you. you know, and this is such a bad translation that the Watchtower Society came out with an interlinear, you know, back in the 80s, I think. I had one, it was a little purple, pretty purple Bible, so I had to have one because it was purple. And it was such that word-for-word -word interlinear that they themselves published discredited this so badly that trying to get a, a watchtower interlinear is a, is a challenge because they've, they've discontinued it. 
I'm sure they're desperately trying to round up every single one they can because their own interlinear discredits their own translation. This Bible was written by that committee of five men that didn't speak the language because they didn't need it to speak the language. This Bible, this translation, was written with the sole intention of backing up their propaganda. Their whole foundation doesn't work without this Bible. Instead of writing the literature to reinforce what the Bible says, they had to make their own translation of the Bible to reinforce the propaganda that they're distributing. Now, I know that they'll say you can use any Bible, but if you happen to be studying with a Jehovah's Witness, they're going to move you into this translation as quick as possible. Yeah. Because this supports their propaganda. And they'll tell you, oh, we can talk to anybody at the door using their own Bible. Yeah. But you'll see that they're chained to this one because this supports the propaganda. And if you happen to show them something, that flat out disagrees with this, they will shut down and walk away. You know, because they have to. They're, they're mind controlled and they have to. You know, they cannot disagree. But this is such a bad translation that if you were to Google Bible translations, this one won't even come up. Because there's not a Bible scholar on the planet that can support this as a good translation. You know, back in the day, they had a few scholars that they, they had linked to this, and they sued. They wanted their name off because they were like, no way is this a good translation. So they finally got their names removed because there's not a scholar that can support this other than the Watchtower. This is such a bad translation that to even call it a translation is an insult to translations everywhere. So anyway, I do recommend you take your own advice, do the research. I'll give you the link below. You no, know, a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. A lot of people don't want to give up what they're doing. 